Hey. 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 hey! We got it. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Chilling. Oh, What's up, dude? Why does it look so beautiful? Oh, dude. My so <laughs> what? Where, where are you guys at right now? San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, yeah. Vista. yeah we're in a mall. It, it looks so beautiful, right? Like, like I still like the beach. Like the I moisturize. Um, <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce themselves for everybody that doesn't know you. Like, you know, who you want, tell them. Yeah. There's a question. Who we are? are we? I'm Drew, and I'm in the band called In Real Life. Oh, All right. Yeah. yeah. Sergio. You show Sergio, bro. Sergio. Sergio Drew. Chance. Brady. Brady and Michael. Mike. We are In Real Life from a TV show on ABC called Boy Band. We're the winners, and uh, we've just been killing the game. We've been trying really hard. <laughs> Working really hard. Vibing. Releasing stuff and traveling, and yeah. All right, cool. Let's get to it. Let's talk boy band, man. Like, how did that whole thing come together? How'd you guys get together to do boy band? Yeah. So boy band, we we were just like, um, contacted individually through like social media and stuff, um, like about about a year ago actually, about around yeah. exactly a year ago. We were all contacted randomly through Instagram or email or whatever the case may be, and then they we send in an audition through Skype, and then um. They ended up liking us, so we are all flew, flown out to L.A. to yeah. audition for the show. So that's crazy. How, like, friendship made become. Show it was pretty good. Were you guys it, was, it, was definitely, it was definitely super cool to, like, all be in the same area, like, all on the same hotel room floor. Like, that's the craziest. It's like a big sleepover. It was dope. Were you guys nervous at all? Nervous? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Dude, every week I was like, Mike, I'm gonna go home, buddy. I'm gonna go home. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was like, dude, you're okay. Like, dude, I'm going home this week. <laughs> every this single week. Um, I don't know. It just stressed me out. I think the first audition was really nerve wracking for all of us because it was our first. Yeah. You know, it was, it was our only. <laughs> it, was our only <laughs> yeah. it was our only shot. Like, like it was. Let me take it away. What? <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. So, it was really difficult. Just because we had never been in, like in the presence of like celebrity judges like that, so being in front of Nick Carter, Emma Bunsen, Timbaland, and we only had one shot to prove ourselves before they were like, "Okay, you can stay, or you're going home." Uh, it was pretty nerve wracking. So yeah. that makes sense. So what's it like now, like being away from home, the tour life? Talk about that a little bit. Like now that you're you're going from place to place, radio station, radio station, tour to you know, town to town. Talk about that. Is it is it is it cool? Like is it difficult? Yeah. yeah cool? So we um. So we just came off this radio tour for Tattoo, and we, it's actually insane to, to look at social media and see that we get like 10,000 likes or 15,000 likes. And we're just like, oh, wow, I got, I got that many likes. But when we actually go out and we tour and we meet these people and go to different radio stations and there's only like 100 people, it's insane to us to see this many people show up and support us. Just to know that we have our fans out there all around the country that, that support our music and support what we do, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Awesome. So I know you guys are all from like different places. Besides, um, I, I know who you from the Bronx, right? Or the, or the yeah, Bronx? he is only him. Oh, okay, 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 good. So I have to ask this question, man. Uh, I'm right. from, I gotta ask Michael, man. Like, are you a Browns fan? Are you a Cleveland Browns fan? I mean, Michael, it, uh, it's kind of hard to be. You know what I mean? That's awesome. I, mean, I grew up in the Ohio area, so I was wondering. I had to ask that. Like, I was like, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I have to I have to represent hometown team, but yeah, it's, it gets kind of difficult just watching every year, just not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, uh, some of the some of the fan questions now that we we got, we were promoting that you guys gonna be doing yeah. some of those questions. How did uh, is, it, is it Dave that chose Drew? Drew, Drew chose uh, the unicorn as a spirit animal. Talk about that. Why, I is, why I is your unicorn your spirit animal? Your, why oh. is the unicorn your spirit animal? Because they're just they're just magical and they're happy and they they fly, and that's just what I want to be. <laughs> oh my in god, my life. a magical flying happy person. I want to be a magical flying happy person that that shoots rainbows. He's a weird guy. Do you guys have any other spirit animal? Is it just you? Is it the only one with a spirit crew. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have a spirit animal. Chance, you? Spirit animal? Yeah. Brady. Brady. Is Brady's actually? my spirit animal. Uh... All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know that one kid that's on, like, the news channel? He's like, I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> that kid is my spirit animal. Though. I don't know what my spirit animal is. Maybe, like, a 
Like a weebolo or something. What's a weebolo? What's that? What yeah. is that? I don't know. Weebolo? Weird. No, because like in Boy Scouts, there's a uh, there's tiger, there's wolf, bear, and then weebolo. I never knew what a weebolo was. So that's my spirit animal. Mm. Cool. I, yeah, yeah. I'm learning from this right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about tattoo. How did that come about? I mean, because you guys, like I said, were all kind of grouped together. Who's the writer? Do you guys all kind of throw in your parts? And like, well, like, talk about tattoo and then how that comes about. Yeah, so Tattoo is one of the first songs that we recorded as a band, and that's kind of why it has, like, a special meaning to us, um, because every time we perform it, it kind of gives us vibes of, like, the very beginning of In Real Life. And um, it's cool because at the start, you know, there were a lot of things kind of set up for us already because we were just thrown into this right away. Um, but Michael, actually, he was able to write his own verse for it on the rap. The rapping part, he wrote that all by himself. So um, it's cool that he, got, he also gets to do it on, like, any song. So, yeah. and we also, all, we're all kind of like writing here and there to get some practice and potentially start writing our own, uh, we can start writing on the songs as well. So yeah, Tattoos are really, it's just, it's a fun song and it, I feel like it's a good first step into like who we are musically. What would you say are some of your biggest influences? Um, well, as a group or individually? Individually. Um... I personally really like Shawn Mendes and Charlie Puth. I like Bruno Mars and John Bellion. Uh, Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake, Kendrick Lamar, Jay Z. I have no idea. Luther Vandross. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> oh, cool. Frank Ocean. Uh, oh, Frank Ocean's pretty lit. Oh, I'm also a huge Bozzy fan. Bozzy's dope. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that Brady have a session with jackets. Yeah. Okay, um <laughs> you messed up. Sorry. Um it's not really jackets, it's more like windbreakers. Windbreakers I'd have an obsession with. Um, because just there's a lot of wind to be broken nowadays. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I phrased that wrong. Um what? Uh, so yeah, I just think like, windbreakers are a vibe, wow. fanny packs are a vibe. Um T-shirts, I don't know. Not like heavy stuff, but good question. Just like, Freddie likes clothes. That's yeah, just fashion yeah. in general, yes. Yo, you guys have a secret handshake? This, these are all fan questions, by the way. This is a group um, like We do, but we can't tell you because it's secret. That's oh. so true. Right. Wait, I will show it to you in person. I will show it to you. I will show it to you in person. You'll learn okay. it with the handshake. Yeah. yeah. Secret. It's going Perfect. down. Secret. Perfect. What's the next fan question, DK? We got a couple more for you guys. Yeah, what would your what would your majors be in college if you weren't doing music? Um, probably like psychology or um, what is it called for? Yeah, what is it called for like for people who want to be a veterinarian? I don't know. I think it's veterinary school. Something he wants to be a veterinarian. A vegetable. A vegetable. You got finished finished taking fire tech classes and uh, do fire academy because I, I was going to be a firefighter before this. Go ahead, Michael. Oh, what would I major in? If it wasn't for music. What are you saying? Poetry. Poetry, yeah, sure. Poetry, what would you major in, Michael? Um, just, music engineering, maybe. Oh, no, I wouldn't say poetry for me. What about you, Brady? Oh, um, there's, Science. There's, a, there's a class at um, NYU called... Um, I think it's called music performance or something, and you, you basically just go up and they like teach you about like moving around on stage and stuff, and it's just like oh, cool. good for developing runs and stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. There. Be cool. I like it. Cool. Um, uh, the pressure with meeting so many people, just filming, because I'm sure your life was very normal before this whole thing happened, and now you're meeting so many people. How do you deal? With um. Okay. So the first thing for me is if I don't know someone's name, I go yeah, what's up. And then they usually, by the, end, like, by the end of the conversation, someone else has said it, so it works out. Um, so, like, that's kind of my strategy. What about you, Chance? <laughs> or when? When you meet someone. Like, when I meet someone new? Because I'm meeting a lot of people. Like, what's your strategy? Yeah. Oh, I just, I just feel like, hey, how are you? Really yeah. good. And nice. That's yeah. about, that's about <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, so last question. Everybody wants to know. Let's talk the album. Let's see. Like, you guys have a bunch of songs down in the can. I just ready to go to release. So. Yeah. So, since we are a new band, we think it's the be the best strategy for us is to put out singles. So, sure. if you're just if you're just an average listener and you don't know who In Real Life is, I don't know if 
you would listen to a full length project necessarily, but if we put out like a song and a video, um, I think it'll probably attract more new fans and stuff so that they can get introduced to us. And then maybe when we build our fan base, we can drop an album. But right now we're just focused on singles. So if this new life fan like watching right now, that's like, I don't know about the band, but I want to know, how would you describe yourself? Sell them on in real life right now. We're clowning. Um, no. <laughs> we, I feel like we're like, um, I think our main thing, not, it's, it wasn't supposed to be a play on our name, but we are very like genuine people. Like I feel like we all, um, are, are, are very genuine and there's a lot of like different cultures going into our band. So I feel like we, um, em embody those different backgrounds pretty well. And I feel like that's what makes our band pretty cool. I think I we just, know. yeah, we just like kind of be ourselves and hope people like us. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. What happened? And someone wants to know that before I let you go. Wait, what? What happened to Chance's hand? That that was a that was a question. Uh, I was just working out I was, too hard. I was working out, uh, you know, pretty viciously, and I ripped a uh, callus off rigorously. Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, it was painful. It's all good. Process, guys. I'll show it to you. It's pretty gnarly. That's the price. <laughs> I gotta get out to California. You know, I've never been out to Cali, so I gotta get out there. Really? And hang on. I've never been out to Cali. Dude, you gotta do it. Very I'm beautiful. Done. You gotta go to Cali at least once. All right, for sure. Hey, guys, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate you answering all the questions. Thank you and so yeah, much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Have a well, good day. Well, See you, you soon. Long. Remember, I'm, I'm gonna talk soon, all right? Yeah. Okay. For sure. See you guys. See you later. Bye. Thanks, buddy. See ya. In real life, guys. Thanks for watching. And of course, they're going to probably go back and like look at all your questions and your comments.